It's May 2016, and I just got my 16-year-old brand new Dreamcast VMU. Let's have a closer look. More than just a memory card, complete with its own LCD screen and control buttons, the VMU can play self-contained VMU games, display secret info during Dreamcast gameplay, download and modify characters from Dreamcast games, trade files with other VMUs, save Dreamcast game files. Alright, enough of that crap. It's time to open this bad boy up. Oh yeah, brand new. What do we got in here? We got our VMU, got our instructions. Yeah, forget those. We don't need those. Get out of here. It even smells brand new. You know, these were really advanced for the time. These came out 16 years ago. There was no other system that had anything like this. Even to date, there's no memory card that's this advanced. I mean, to be a memory card, and to be a portable gaming system, what more could you ask for? Sega seemed to be doing everything right, but somehow they still failed, even with cool stuff like this. Alright, I can't wait anymore. It's time to power this up. And if my calculations are correct, once this powers on, we're going to see some serious shit. The VMU was quite the powerhouse. It was powered by two 32-bit RISC processors. It had 2 megabytes of RAM. It had 16.7 million colors, it had 200,000 textured map polygons, and it had a 500 by 480 resolution. No other portable game system at the time could even come close to the specs of the VMU. This was the portable game system to have. If you wanted the best, then this was it. And who gives a shit if it only has a 1 inch screen? I mean look at it! It looks great! Sadly, that's what I wish the VMU was. But in reality, it has an 8-bit CPU, 128 kilobytes of flash memory, a 48 dot by 32 dot resolution, and it displays only one color, and it rivals the Atari 2600, a gaming system that's over 35 years old. And I hate to admit it, I think I'd rather play an Atari 2600. But that being said, the VMU does have a couple OK games. Most of them are homebrew though. There's a homebrew disc called Dream Explorer that allows you to download these games straight to your VMU. First up on the list is Space Invaders. It's got pretty similar gameplay to the Atari 2600, but it's still better on the Atari. Next up is Tetris. Very small screen, but still fun to play. But the original Game Boy version of Tetris blows this one away. Next up on the list is Pac-Man. This one might actually give the Atari 2600 version a run for its money, being that the dots are actually circular instead of rectangular. If you like Pac-Man, this is a must-have, even if it is a shitty version. I made it almost a whole minute before I got bored. And here's a couple more notable games. This one is VM Fighter. You just sit there and punch repeatedly until the guy is knocked out. You just push the buttons as fast as you can. Another game is Sniper. You sit there and line up the crosshairs or stick figures walking by and you take them out. And the shots move up higher and higher until you're doing headshots. Well, I'm kind of sick of talking about the VMU, so I'm going to go. If you want to hear more from me, please subscribe.